Yeah, I I really feel like he's a player that, you know, any given day could have a really breakout performance. When you play him in friendlies, he is he is quite strong. I remember there used to be a lot of jokes at his expense among the PA players, but I don't think he uh, he necessarily deserved it. I muted the whole time. I don't know, <laughs> honestly. Oh, gets the grab, throws a just straight up back throw. And it, like, it's very tempting to just throw Fox off stage. Fox is Fox, but you're Falcon. <laughs> yeah, you're you muted the entire time. Oh, great. I forgot the, the button. Um, <laughs> you're Falcon, you know, you can combo Fox. You don't need to just like throw him off stage. Yeah, it's a tricky decision for sure. And it's interesting that we see Shakir Khan switching back to Fox here after it seemed like his Falcon did a lot better in the previous match. But maybe, you know, he wants to be Fox in this matchup. Uh, Low also often uses Fox, throws him back on stage. That's pretty unusual. Yeah, I think he expected to get a follow up with a laser, you know, laser grab or something. Mm. Oh, misses the upbeat just barely. Oh, nice double, double lasers. All right, this guy knows what he's doing. Or she's doing. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to say. Uh, we're not going to assume anything here. Ooh, Great forward tilt from DJR. Uh, I love it. Can't capitalize on the edge guard, though. Oh, the run up Nair, kind of Kirby-esque. Yeah. Actually a really, really smart move with Falcon, and something I've seen Falcon players uh, developing a little bit more. That Nair is really strong. It's very impressive timing, too. Yeah, but uh, Carter finds the grab. And goes up, three stocks to, it is uh, Josh Brody and Robert. It's a little percent. Uh, just trying to hold on to the stock. And you're, you're Fox, right? You don't have to really go in there. You can just kind of rack up damage with the lasers while you're at high percent. Make Falcon come to you. Well, great DI on that dash attack. Does lose the stock. But he got 50% before losing it, which can actually be very important against Falcon. You want to get some of that percent so he's easier to carry off stage and can't you know, look stuck at this edge guard stuff. <laughs> oh, he just gets a bead, but he did build up a ton. TGR just back throwing him. Interesting. Gambling on his edge guarding ability. Uh, yeah, TGIF has been very slippery with uh, their recoveries. Yeah, this match might turn into kind of a contest of edge guards. Like, who can edge guard better? Yeah, like despite catching. the fact that it tends to be you know kind of combo heavy. Yeah, catching Falcon ledge hopping. It's not where you want to be as Falcon. You're probably dead. Nice shine there. Oh, he's going. They're going for the shines. <laughs> Just run up and grab. That's the Falcon way. Oh, absolutely. That was a. Did you see how fast he fastballed and then faded back to the ledge? That's that crazy. was really smart. This guy definitely has some Fox experience. This guy or girl. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> this player. This player. Okay. So can be, oh, DJR gets back on. Yeah, I was expecting him to fade back too, but he just goes straight at it, gets the grab. But he's off stage again. Can he make it back? Oh, goes for the no same up e. Yeah, misses yes. the. Uh, that misses recovery the DI. is fine if you have any sort of DI, but uh, I think DJR, not familiar with the player, maybe lacking a, a couple things in the experience department. DI usually comes with a bit of experience. <clears throat> But yeah. otherwise, playing toe to toe with uh, TGIF Carter, who oh, seems yeah. like a, a fairly competent player. Yeah, Carter's had great technique, especially on the edge guards, and of course these uh, double lasers that we're seeing. Those are not that easy to do, at least for me. <laughs> Typical online Fox main stuff. Yeah. Goes oh, for the up air, but he gets hit by the fire, so he can't convert the combo. Yeah, DJR has been having a huff, uh, tough time with timing on some of these uh, edge guards. Just barely missing on uh, on the timing of the up Ooh, waited the maximum time before he F-smashed. Very smart. I really feel like what DJR needs is to be able to convert harder off his openings. He's being able to get in. He's getting in. He just isn't completing these combos probably as much as he quite wants. Yeah, and, and DGR could have up smashed on multiple occasions here that definitely would be the defensive play. When you're kind of caught in a scramble like that as Falcon and Fox is right in front of you, up smash is one of Fox's worst enemies in this matchup. Yeah. DJR going for a lot of those fares from the ledge, and it seems like Carter is very ready for it. Hit him with a bear. Does get grabbed on shield after the rapid jab. There we go, yeah, yeah. good hook. 
Yeah, it goes through the reverse hook this time. I wonder if that was what he was going for before. Yeah. It, if Fox is going to recover that close to the stage, you should be able to capitalize. Oh, I like, I'm seeing jabs come out from DJR too. Uh, jab reset can be very good against, oh, as Falcon. You know, if you're just trying to. What was that? DI down? Typical combo. Okay, finds the back throw. He really needs this edge guard. Nice. Okay, finds the first bear. And Ooh. just jumps out with the dare. Nice. That was a risky play, but had the timing that time. Very well played. With a shine on shield, it's difficult for Falcon to deal with shield pressure from behind because his up smash, his best out of shield option, only really hits in front of him. Yeah, Harder. Yeah. Definitely take advantage of that and just runs up with an up smash. Doesn't quite kill. DJR is still alive. Gets back on the stage. Ooh. Finds this anti-air fair. Nice, really smart jump to the ledge. Can he find his way off the ledge? This question goes for that fair again. Carter's so ready for it. Oh, jabs into Nair. Oh, just barely misses. What a fade. That was an excellent fade, but a little angsty on the uh, anxious on the ledge hop. Uh, DJR has gotten punished a few times for early quick ledge hops. Yeah, DJR on his final stock here. Needs to make something happen if he wants to take this to a game three. Jumps Great out with the bear. Time. Nice. His edge guarding, I think, has really improved from the first game. And now we're in last stock. I was going to say, that's usually Fox's folly as the... <laughs> As people play more against Fox, yeah. the edge guarding gets so yeah, much better. Yeah, the meta is advancing right here, but... Got to watch the ledge hops. Ooh, Carter nice. knows something about the meta, too. Putting this together. Dare out of shield. I feel like he had the shield pressure on Fox on the top plat. Could have gone for another up air. Yeah. Kind of played it too safe. DJ are really smart jumping to the ledge, not using his up B when he doesn't have to. Just like uh, that. That's so hard, but he fares again from the and ledge. Yet again, those ledge hops are really what ended DJR here. Um, the roll up was good. You, you have you don't have a lot of options, but if you're ledge hopping when Fox is that close, you're gonna get punished. Fox just has too many disjoints. Do they need to report to someone? Uh, yeah, they, they, it's not us. No, it's not. It's not you. Okay. Yeah, but they're not gonna know to enter on their phones.